Since its introduction in 1998, the Smart has been one of the most successful city cars on the market. Even then, there was an electric-powered test version. Smart is now continuing this local emission-free mobility concept in its latest generation of models. Energy is stored in state-of-the-art lithium-ion batteries, which have more power and longer ranges than earlier models. Pit most of Smart says the car is ideal for electric engines because the company always planned to use electric power. That means the architecture of the vehicle was always drawn up with electric drive in mind. If you take everything out of the car, which is related to a gasoline engine, then you are left with a perfect square-shaped space for a really big battery. The engine, gears, power unit, and so on are located where they are in the gasoline model. After a series of tests in London, Smart decided to launch a production run of 1,000 units in November 2009. Due to high demand, that was extended to 1,500 cars. Since the summer, the Smart ED has also been on the streets of New York. The electric engine produces 27 horsepower and a peak torque of 120 newton meters. Top speed is just 100 kilometers an hour. On the outside, there's little difference between the Smart ED and its conventional brethren, but the electric drive motto is emblazoned on the sides. The Smart is not completely green. It uses electricity from the power grid, which could be generated with solar or coal. Construction and disposal of the batteries can also harm the environment. A battery indicator replaces the tachometer and the clock on the dashboard. Range has increased to 135 kilometers from 100 kilometers in the earlier test models. Pitmo says people often ask him how long it takes for the battery to charge. He usually asks them in return how far they drive. If the answer is 30 to 40 kilometers, then the charge takes less than three hours. If the battery is completely flat, then eight hours using the electric socket. That means the night is always long enough for recharging. This generation of production smart EDs already meet most needs for everyday use, but work still needs to be done on infrastructure. But the look of city streets could soon be changing, and rechargers like this could soon be standing between parking meters. The cable is easy to fit. Tests are planned for Asia next year, in addition to those underway in Europe, Canada, and North America. The electric motor is in the floor of the trunk, and the battery in the underbody between the axles. That means there's still a little room for luggage at the back. After two generations of test models, the third generation Smart ED will be launched in 40 countries in 2012. The production run will be a lot larger and the battery much improved.